Hi guys, this is Dr. Shree and welcome to Auriculate's weekly news. So without any delay, let's jump into today's clinical scenario. And today's case scenario is a 30 year pregnant female presents with bilateral progressive conductive hearing loss with similar history in the mother. She says that her hearing gets better in the noisy surroundings and on examination of the ear, her tympanic membrane looks pearly white in color and tuning fork test reveals Rennie's test negative, Weber's towards the right ear, absolute bone conduction test is normal, Schwabach's test being lengthened, Gell's speculum test is negative and on audiogram there is air bone conduction gap and dip is seen at 2000 hertz and on impedance audiometry in tympanometry there is 8s type of curve and in stepedial reflex is absent. So guys, what might be the possible diagnosis? Guys, think about the medical scenario and we'll discuss it at the end of the video. Meanwhile, we'll jump into today's medical updates without any delay. Rupees 30 lakhs bond penalty. Too much, says the Supreme Court against the need PG candidates plea and seeks NMC's response. Recently, Supreme Court observed that asking a student to pay Rs. 30 lakhs penalty against the seat living bond is too much, while considering the yearly government fees is only Rs. 1,24,000. And Supreme Court asks NMC's response regarding this matter. In Karnataka, three private colleges have bid a case in the High Court, for which the judgment was reserved. And now all the three cases were disposed, and we can see the new seat matrix for Karnataka. Karnataka Mul's GPS tracking of government doctors. Government is planning to introduce GPS tracking for government duty doctors. As there is increasing number of complaints against the government doctors working privately in their duty hours. Health and Education Minister says that the main aim of this initiative is to abide the doctor by his rules. Round 2 NEET PG counselling schedule has been released for the states of Maharashtra, Madhya Pradesh, Assam, Haryana, Odisha, West Bengal, Bihar, Kerala and Tamil Nadu. Haryana MDS counselling update. A notice to say if you have participated in a state or all India round 2 counselling, you can't participate in the mop up round. In Gujarat, after reducing the cut off, the mop up registration started on 29th of October and ends on 4th November. Uttarakhand has released a notice regarding the counselling fee. MCC's notice regarding the Santosh Medical College increase in number of PG medical seats. One seat in respiratory medicine, three seats in ENT and three seats in MS of Talmalchi. Guys, All India Mob Up Round registrations has been open. It will last until 4th November. And choice filling and locking of the seats will last until 5th November. Regarding the deemed and DNB quota PG counselling, a seat matrix for All India Mob Up Round has been released. Dr. NTR University of Health Sciences has released a college-wise allotment list of PG courses 2022-2023 AP counselling. Seat blocking scam in Telangana. High Courts directs KNRUHS, NMC to transfer the eligible candidate's PG seat from MNR to Medicity. A list of admitted candidates until round 2 has been released by MCC. Liquid O2 for 28 medical colleges soon, says the Deputy CM of Uttar Pradesh. As of now, only 13 medical colleges have received license for running Liquid O2 plants from petroleum and explosive organizations. And the process of issuing license in the remaining 28 colleges has been going on. Scientists have identified cryptic SARS-CoV-2 lineage in the wastewater. In Jan of 2022, a highly enigmatic SARS-CoV-2 strain has been identified in the metropolitan wastewater but not in the clinical samples. And if this highly enigmatic strain is of human origin and is transmissible, then it will be a source of future viewers and is a precious tool for predicting the SARS-CoV-2 sequences and to be incorporated into the COVID-19 therapeutics such as vaccines. World Stroke Day 29th October and the ways to prevent the stroke control high blood pressure control diabetes reduce cholesterol levels quit tobacco and alcohol avoid stress do regular physical exercises adapt a healthy lifestyle eat healthy balanced diet India's cumulative COVID-19 vaccination coverage exceeds 219.63 crores AIMS New Delhi have started telecardiology consultation for the follow-up patients from 1st November 2022. Patients can contact from Monday to Friday between morning 9.30 to 5. WHO Director General transmits the report of third meeting of International Health Regulation Emergency Committee regarding the multi-country outbreak of monkeypox virus. 
This committee has acknowledged that some progress has been made in the global response regarding this multi-country outbreak. This includes the emergency information regarding the behavioral interventions and vaccines. Act. Access to COVID-19 tools. Accelerator launches a six-month plan as world is transitioning into long-term COVID control. These plans focus is on vaccinating the high-risk populations, introducing new treatments, boosting, testing and securing the sustained COVID-19 tools access. New flu viruses uses mRNA to target the four viral proteins that changes a little across the viral strains. A team of international researchers has used this mRNA technology to develop influenza vaccine that targets the four proteins that tends to change across the viral strains. And it has worked in test mice. Air pollution can also be a risk factor for NCDs like stroke. So check air quality index in your area to protect health issues on exposure to air pollution. Brain on fire, an autoimmune disorder which improves on blood plasma exchanges, Rajas research. A recent study highlights the case of a 5-year-old girl who is suffering from N-methyl D aspartate receptor encephalitis, which is difficult and a rare disease to diagnose, which has malfunction of the brain. She is unresponsive to treatment and has been transferred to the rehabilitation center and has been in a catatonic stage for about 3 months and where a Raja physicians are called in to help. Dengue infection tally crosses 2000 mark in Delhi. In Uttar Pradesh, a tantric performs rituals on scorpion sting patients inside the government hospital instead of allowing a doctor to treat the patient. Guys, let's discuss the clinical scenario. 30-year pregnant female with bilateral conductive hearing loss and she can hear better in noisy surroundings and tympanic membrane is pearly white in color and she has similar history in her mother. So, the most common diagnosis can be autosclerosis. Fistula antifenestrum, which is present over the oval window, a cartilaginous area. This overgrows during hormonal changes or during any infections, most common in children like measles and most common in females in hormonal changes like pregnancy. It overgrows and causes fixation of stapes. Patient hears best in the noisy surroundings. This is as we talk louder in the noisy surroundings, she crosses the threshold. In the active form, the tympanic membrane is in flamingo pink color, which signifies the squad sign. That's it for today, guys. We'll meet you in the next weekend. For more interesting videos and updates, please like, share and subscribe to Oracle. For more information, please follow us on Instagram and Telegram by clicking the links given below. Bye, guys.